How do you think Hank will do? I haven't paid much attention to this. I'm sure it'll be awful. I mean, how good it's like, we'll see. I've been procrastinating a lot. I'm, I'm a master procrastinator. Probably the best of the best. It was a no-show job, basically. All you had to do was just show up. So I broke it down into chapters. Let's get into it. Anyone here doing dry January? Woo, 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 yeah. She sat next to a guy who was half man, half reptile. The moment you've been waiting for, there's three people I hate. First two, they're always together. They're always posting pictures and shit. It makes me sick. Next person uh, is actually here tonight. It's Brian Chicken Fry. How we feel? Uh, bad. <laughs> Two hours away. When we did Laugh Factory, I got drunk. I'm waiting to get drunk. I'm excited to get so drunk. So, facility, because you're going to need to warm. This doesn't feel good. Are you, oh, yeah. are you getting nervous? Well, we're practicing, and it's like, I don't even so remember what the fuck I'm supposed to say. And no one's laughing, because no one's here. Pete was laughing. It's not terrible. Okay. Pete okay. did laugh. I think I think well, he was, like, fake laughing. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, Pete. What? This is so good. It's so bad. <laughs> I'm so excited. No, he's gonna crush. He's I gonna love crush. Trade. He's gonna crush. Yep. Did you go up yet? Yeah, I mean, what, what do you, I'm singing tequila. It has three words in it. Tequila. I think I think this is gonna rock. <laughs> How are you feeling? Surprisingly okay. Not nervous. First time going on stage ever. And I'm not nervous. I'm just worried when I go on stage. Shaky hand. That'd be very embarrassing. As a man who knows memes, I want to avoid that. So you just want to avoid being a meme? A be avoid a becoming you. a meme, yeah. even though... It's kind of inevitable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's my dream. I think it's going to go well. I think the crowd is like very barstool heavy. So like when you're playing to a crowd that knows you and knows the inside jokes, like they know they know it's going to be a train wreck and they still spend the money. It's like they want to watch it. It could also be fucking terrible. <laughs> How do you think Hank will do? I haven't paid much attention to this. I'm sure it'll be awful. I mean, how good it's like, we'll see. Everyone knows who Hank is that's gonna be here. Memes is going up in a crowd of people that 90% of them don't know what his face looks like. Dave, also, did you know that Memes is opening up for Hank? He's doing 15 minutes. Do you know who Memes is? Him? <laughs> yeah. No, I really don't know that. I mean, I, I recognize the name, but I get him confused with Meek Phil. Yeah. I, I, I sort of know who Memes is. Boss man showing up. <laughs> that makes you nervous? Oh yeah. I don't know that my level of nerves, like my level of nerves is like a, it's, it's been a steady seven for like a month and a half. No matter what, in two hours it will be over. It's like a relief in of in in its own right. It's not gonna be great. I don't think it's gonna be like, you know, the most memorable comedy performance of all time. It just can't be the worst. And I think memes is gonna be the worst, unfortunately. I if the takeaway is like Hank wasn't as bad as we thought, and now it's a bomb for memes, like, so be it. <laughs> but if it was like Hank was better than we thought and memes crushed it, that's good too. I'm just I'm I'm worried. Jokes. Yeah, I mean, I'm right. I'm trying to write some last minute ones down. I mean, I'm in here with memes too. He's, he's looking for some. All right, I'll give you this one because it's topical because of, of uh, Drake. Okay. All right. You could say, uh, let me see how to set it up. But anyway, basically, the way the joke goes is uh, you were standing in the locker room one time and you got changed in front of uh, Drake. Right. Okay. And yep. I like that. I like that. You want to text me that? 
I mean, he's watching the Texas. Hey, Shane. Ready to take the stage? Do you have any place? Have you made it, Frank? Frank yes. Yes. Uh, hey, Hank, uh, you know, I, I came over here to Vegas. I took a nice flight. Unfortunately, I almost missed my flight and I had to be on stand. I missed my flight and I'd be on standby. And when you're on standby, you just stand there and you watch all the planes. You go, bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> it's sold out. Big reason to sell a lot. That's a success. We do, we have C4. It's going to be entertaining, good or bad. I guess it comes down to is it any good? I think they're going to crush. Um, I told Hank that if he sells 17,000 pay per views, I'll give him. Yeah, give him 5K to play on blackjack. Unfortunately for Hank, he doesn't realize I'm losing every college basketball bet, so that deal might be off the table. <laughs> I might do piss dogs. I also can do that. I'm wearing I drink. I, I, I just pee and I have to pee again. Just that day. We're here. We're fucking here. Good luck. Pretty close on the pay-per-views. I know. Um, but there's been a, a little bit of a, a wrinkle. We're really going to need that Colorado State over if you're going to get that five grand. So if you have it in you to root that on. What is that game sorry? Uh, it's actually halftime. So How we're, well, what, what's the last? we're not great, but we're we're fighting. Is this we're going to fight. like you and Dave or like you? No, me. I won't have the cash to give you if we don't hit this. So I think I just um, we're going to we're going to fight, though. We're going to fight. We're going to fight. All right. Yeah, we're fighting. Hey, we, you, I, I'll never give up. When he's at it. I'll never give up. Colorado State over us. Yeah. Also, not to make you nervous, but uh, Brianna Chicken Fry went straight from the Grammys, Taylor Swift, to an <laughs> evening with Henry Lockwood. She's sitting next to Mikey Betts. Kind of the same thing. <laughs> well, I, also, I, also, I also have a whole bit playing about her that I didn't think she was going to be here. Oh, no! You guys ready? ready? You guys do. You guys are built for this one. So I'll just ask you guys, are you ready to stare awkwardly at your television or at Hank on stage and be like, hey, when are you going to start telling jokes? Yes. Are we ready for that? Yes. All right, well, give it up. Opening the show, the second worst gambler on part of my take, my memes. Yeah. Memes! Let's go, memes. What up? Memes? <laughs> Yeah! I know what you guys are expecting. I'm white. <laughs> to sell the nerves, we're gonna start off with a song. Play the song. <laughs> Tequila. The biggest problem in my life. Fuck, I don't know. I don't really have many big problems. I guess, to be honest, my biggest problem is that I should probably be happier with how much great shit I got going on. It's real bad. What is the average day in life? Don't tell him I said it, but I was grossed out. I figured it'd be better to have a kid, you know. If he. Can't be worse than You ever get fucked, marry, kill, fuck? Hey Beams. Uh, that was me. Masoli. Congrats. Hey Beams. Congratulations. Thank you. That was the worst moment in stand-up history. What was the stand-up? Talk back to Paul. You can do this. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Hank Lockwood! Imagine when you were a kid and you had to hit a word count for an essay. This is basically the in-person equivalent of that. Is anyone here from Las Vegas? Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Crazy, I don't, know, I don't know what reason you would possibly have to want to live in this town. Working for Dave Portnoy, who's here tonight. Give it up for Dave Portnoy. He left? Oh, great, and that was a mistake. That was a mistake I made. I fumbled the bag and I was, I was down bad because I was like, Fuck, dude, why'd you act like a lizard? Holding my breath. <laughs> figure, figure what out, figure what out. Like what, I truly, I would love to know what you expected when you walked in here tonight. Like what do you want me to figure out? So I bought everyone here around. Coors Lights on me. We're gonna take a break from me taking a break from doing stand-up, handing out Coors Light to talk about Coors Light. 
Thank you to Coors Light for making this entire stand-up show happen. I could not have done it without you. I had a lot of nerves leading up to it, but I had a couple Coors Light and I chilled out. I felt very chill. Uh, so thank you to Coors Light for that. Thank you for providing beers for the crowd to help them enjoy the show more as well. The Chill Train is back after 12 years. The iconic Chill Train is back, so get excited for that. There's only one beer for the big game, hanging out with your boys, the Chill Coors Light. Stock up or get Coors delivered straight to your door with Instacart or on CoorsLight.com slash take. That's CoorsLight.com slash take. Celebrate responsibly. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Oh, yeah. I'm falling. Is there something else you're longing for? I'm falling. Getting to the office the next morning, and I kid you not, PFT, I get off the elevator, and PFT walked up and fucking squared me up. I was like, what the fuck was that picture, dude? Quest Nutrition, yeah! Honestly, give it up for Quest. Let's give it up for Quest. Anyone, anyone, yeah, we got some Quest, yeah. Thank you to Quest for sponsoring the stand-up show and this vlog. Apologies to anyone in the crowd who may or may not uh, have got hit with a Quest bar in the face. I, I throw hard. I got a big arm. Quest was founded in 2010 with the goal of hacking one problem to create a high-protein bar that wasn't packed with net carbs that actually tasted good. Quest is constantly searching for new ways to make your fave foods questified. I ate the chips all week. I've been eating the chips ever since. They're so good. From bars to chips, cookies, and candy, Quest continues to make protein-forward foods that aren't packed with net carbs and sugar but are always packed with taste. Quest support you on your quest delivering great tasting food that you can make part of your daily workout or daily life. That's what I've done. A lot of people in the office eat Quest all the time. Uh, it's it's really, really good. It's good snack food and it's healthy protein. It's got it all. Fuel your next adventure with a tasty snack or two or three at questnutrition.com. Get the chips, get the bars, get it all. Questnutrition.com. Go check it out. People at Barcelona, New York City that I hate. There's three. Two of them. They're always together. It's a little Sasquatch and Roan. I wish they would move to Chicago, but they won't. And then the third person, last three years, my number one most uh, listened to artist was Zach Bryan. <laughs> Brianna's here, and I was not expecting her to be here. But it pisses me the fuck off. Thank you all for coming. It's over. It's over. I'm so relieved it's over. It's over, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if it was good or it was bad. It's over, so cheers. Thanks to everyone that watched, I guess. Fuck you. <laughs> How do you think it was, Josh? I, I thought it was, it was a show, dude. It was good. <laughs> I mean, we were out here in the audience and everything. Yeah, it, it, it was it. 60 minutes. It was, yeah. it was 60, minutes. 60 minutes. It was 60 Gosh. minutes for sure. Um, he stood up there, you know? So that was good. Was that was good. Yeah, yeah, you were for sure. <laughs> we kind of knew it was coming though because they set all the cameras up right in front of Bree's face as we were Yeah, like the Oscars. Like, yeah, 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 it was kind of like, oh, this is expected. That was good. It was good, man. You hate it or love it, you watched. Oh, yeah, that was, that was, that's how I feel.